I'm loving my new tripod because look at the angles I can do now. This is just lovely way, lovely place to do an intro because you've got my K-pop shelf behind me. And that is just a perfect backdrop. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today we are continuing my book nook series and we are building another book nook. This one's called Sakura Densea. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And it I say they come in like a pack of two, so like you have the other one that we built last time, and then this one they match the same um vibes because they also this company also had two other ones which were like Harry Potter looking. Um Harry Potter looking so if you look on the back you have the four and we did this one last time and now we're gonna start building this one so it's very exciting so let's just get on with it okay so let me just take this plastic off with Sakura fluttering in the sky whisper your name over and over whatever that means um on the back you've got the four other book ends that you've got so you've got the sunshine town which was the last one we did magic house and time travel um so i haven't got those two but i don't plan on getting those two until maybe later who knows um has a bit about product things you know here I haven't got any batteries so I will have to get some AAA batteries. Um, here we have a bit of a, a drawing of the model. So we, it says a cut proof lens deepens the whole space, an equal scaling of wooden trolley, hidden battery, colourful world and river reflection and a torch and a touch light. So similar to the last one, you touch this button and it lights up. So that's it, there's the sides. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna open this up. So here we have the instructions, which I'll just put over here. We have the little pieces and the um, electronic pieces, the glue, which will be important. We have the battery for the main light. We, well, the battery pack. We have some screws, we have a screwdriver and some interesting looking things. And this is part of, I want to say the railing it's just there um, and here we have all of the other pieces which are in plastic wrap so i'll just take get them out of that it goes into. Um, we have some sandpaper um so a mirror a mirror um some clear plastic to replicate glass oh i guess this is for the water and then the rest are our wooden pieces. We have these which are like, you put on top of the wooden pieces. They're like thin wood, um, they're for decoration. Outside. Wow, this one looks simpler than the last one. It's got way less pieces than the last one. Yeah, it only goes up to E. The last one went way more, more detail. So this might be easier. Maybe I should have done this one first. Oh, let's... There's not enough space for me to put these all out, which I would love to just have them spread, spread out somewhere. So for now, I'm going to just move everything over here on my bed. And then I'm going to only have the ones in the middle that we need. Okay, so 
open the book. It has um, the same image that was on the back. List of parts. So the smaller parts have names. So they're P1 to 17. Instructions on how to swap the lights. Signs. So the flower means you want the printed side up. This means the blank side up. Notice step one, two, three, dab of glue. Here are some of the QA, so I'll read through that as we go along. Oh, and we just get straight into it. So let's get into it. I'll I'll walk us through the first one and then after that um I'll speed it up so it's more like a a relaxing video. So we need part c3 and d2 so what i'm gonna do is go through this pile and we are looking for c3 and d2 so c3 c3 there we go c3 of these two pieces and then d2 i need one of these. Oh, I don't want to break it. It's very delicate. You have to be very careful with the wooden pieces, especially the small ones. So, what you would do is, by the looks of it, stick that onto the back and have it like that. And then you do that twice. So, what you're going to do, bring it out of the way and put this in the middle, just going to apply some glue, oh I need to actually take off the, that bit which is going to the top, okay, sort out the glue, so what we do is we're going to put dab of glue in the corners. It's just a little dab. And then we're gonna just double check what way around I'm doing this. Like that. I'm just gonna hold it on. It's very fiddly. And it actually takes a lot of to get it right. Once you get in the swing of it, it becomes so much easier, but it's getting in that swing. So once you've got it all lined up and perfect, hold it down for five seconds, it says. And it's not dry yet. It still needs time to dry because it's still very much wet. But once you've done that, it should be pretty solid, you know. Not going to move about so you're going to just leave it to dry so i've put that over there i'm now going to do that four times so i have all of those Okay, so those are all dry. So that's what I'm gonna do for everything. So now I'm gonna speed it up for you. I'm gonna do a bit. I'm probably gonna go up to, if I have time, I'd like to finish today the um, tram. So that's what, 10? No, 10's for train track, so up to nine. So maybe I'll try and get up to nine today. They're all dry and then continue more tomorrow morning so we'll see because i'm busy this afternoon so let's get on with it
forgot to press record but I started building the bottom of the train and I've been <laughs> I broke it look I broke it right there and then the inside broke and it's just all splinters up in there so I'm really being, trying to be really delicate but you can't be delicate because you have to really push it in there it's difficult it's a task but we're getting there um but yeah I forgot to record that bit sorry Okay, so we got up to 10. Um, so we, what we did so far is we made this little tram and I broke the top bit so it's drying. So this is really delicate at the moment, but it's really detailed, like really detailed. This air conditioner thing, what they're called. Um, a sign, the little window shutters and then some sakura plants so they're like cherry blossoms in english i guess <laughs> so it's called like sakura season it's a very important time in japan i guess that's all i know about sakura season is that the cherry blossoms blossom um we have this like road sign and then we have another tree so it doesn't look like a lot but all these little bits will be put into the big main bit so that's all i'm gonna do for today and I'm gonna do some more tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Okay, hello everybody, we are back for another day. Um, and I didn't do anything yesterday, so we're gonna just do a lot today, but I haven't got long until I have to go to work, so we'll see how I feel after work. But for now, let's keep going. I think I'm gonna try and do this pages are stuck together. Ten. Oh, maybe I probably should have finished on ten because it just assembled all the pieces together. Um, maybe I should have done that yesterday. Anyway, um, next needs to be all the electrical stuff. However, I haven't got any um batteries, so I might have to go and buy some batteries today. Actually, I will. I'll buy some batteries today so I can actually put the batteries in but it should be easy enough to continue building and then add the batteries whilst I'm still building so yep yeah. okay it's a plan let's go So I'm going to show you this now. So this is what we've built. This is the back part. It's at the back of the, um, of the book nook. 
this is the main bit you look at. It's pretty pretty. And I love the little tram. It's got to call it a train and it's a tram. So I'm gonna put that far away. I'm gonna put it on my windowsill because we don't need it for a while now. So let's start building the main part of the book nook. I forgot to record but um I broke it so now I've got to glue it back together and I cannot continue until this dries so I think this is a good place to stop for now so I'm gonna go to work and then I'm gonna come back and finish this so yeah I'm currently holding it because if I let go it's all gonna fall to pieces so okay so I am back it's <laughs> half 10 at night but I'm now in the mood to do more so I'm going to do more we were not that far ahead where were we we were here I had to leave this to dry didn't I yeah okay it's dried it's wonky but it will have to do okay so let's keep going Hopefully you'll be fine. Okay, so what have we achieved today? So we have this part of the um, all done and you can see where it's going to go on this lovely bit right here. It's looking lovely. Oh, we've got that over there from yesterday. Um, it's going to like go like that, which is really put it all together. Um, I hate that this has no colour. Like, I mean, we're not going to see it, but I know it's there. Um, so I'm hoping that gets fixed, but I know that that is that. I just, maybe I'll colour it in or something, because I can't, I can't, I can't. But I'm loving it. It's so cute. This one I'm finding more difficult than the last one. I don't know if it's because I'm being just harsher with it, um, but everything keeps snapping. 
um, the little holes, you know, like the little holes for the things, like a, a circular, not square, and well, not rectangular, I mean. So the rectangles aren't fitting into the circles. That's not how it works. Which is really annoying. And also, last time I used a lot more glue. I mean, I still have used a considerable amount of glue, but I just remember using the glue a lot more. Like here, I just fit everything in. And we have these screws, which I don't know what they're for yet, but right near the end it gets very technical and the electrical stuff which i'm not very good at so hopefully last time i have to get help from other people this time we're gonna try and do it we're gonna try and do it ourselves so yeah clean this all up it's almost midnight i'm going to bed okay i'm back for another day i want to get this done today but i don't think i will but we will see so I probably should have started this like two hours ago. My dog demanded attention, and if my dog demands attention, he gets it. So, here we are at like half 11. So, let's try and get this done. I believe in us. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so I think we have done this piece. It's looking really good. This is probably my favorite bit so far, but this stuff is not drying. So I'm going to be really careful with it when I construct it because we're getting to the point where we're putting all the pieces together, which is really exciting. Um, and it's getting all to the electrical stuff. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't get in the way, but we'll see. If I can't, I'll have to wait, but I don't want to wait. But it's looking really cute, so let's start constructing it and making it a more solid book nook, not just pieces. Look, look. The lights work. The lights. Oh, my goodness. I was really worried. I, I don't know if you, you probably couldn't see, but um, I did all this <laughs> by myself, which it isn't a lot, but it's good for me because I'm not very good at this stuff. So, um, all the wires are all sorted. That is probably the worst bit done. Now, I've just got to add the finishing pieces, you know, add some walls and I think we're done. That was not the worst bit done. This here is the worst bit. 
I was trying for ages to put these little screws on because I accidentally put them on after putting them in so then I had to take everything apart and do it again and here you can see me finally actually getting the screws on which you know was a skill and a half so it goes by so fast this video but honestly it felt like forever. So that is everything and here is the final product. Okay, so this is the Seca Densea, which is that's what it's called, and it is made by Row Life. Um, I found this, well, I found the first one at a at a garden centre. Um, but I got this one as a gift, but I'm assuming it's also from the same garden centre. I would just Google Row Life. I'll put a link if I can find it for this one so that everyone gets it they're really lovely bookshelves and i've really enjoyed making it this one was more difficult than the last one but it's simpler there's less to it but all the little pieces kept breaking it's very fragile so i just keep that in mind not to manhandle it like i did so thank you for watching this video um please like subscribe and i will see you all next time. Bye!